everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octio Studio. Today I'm sharing with you day 22 of the hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona Daily Art Journaling Challenge. And today I started out with some gel printing. It was actually yesterday during the live stream. So if you'd like to watch this in real time, you can go to the Art Joy of Sharing live stream channel, which is my sister channel with Peg Robinson, and watch me make it in real time and recorded. So like I said, starting out with gel printing, and we are being inspired today by the prompt Giuseppe Gracious, as well as the mood board. We have a mood board every month in um, Art Joy of Sharing Art Community. If you haven't joined yet, link below the video. Uh, it's on Facebook. You go, you ask to join, you answer the questions. That's how it works. So I've got my five by seven gel plate out. I've got some archival ink. These are my new little mini archival inks, and it came as a set with, um, I'm going to say 12 colors in a little tin box. And I will put a link below the video for where I found that on Amazon, where I got it. But I picked out the ones that were fall colors. On the mood board, you saw it at the very beginning, there was some leaves, there was some mountains, there was outdoor fall type stuff. So I wanted to make that kind of a scene. Um, on my page. So I thought it would be fun to gel print with this leaf stamp set, which is from Stampin' Up. It's retired a long time ago, but there's all kinds of leaf stamps out there. You probably already have some. And so I'm stamping onto my gel plate with the ink in the different colors of fall here that I picked out. And these are the distressed colors, but they're now making them in archival ink, which is a permanent ink, which is perfect for this. Archival and stays on are really great on your plate. So I stamped the colors on, and then I put um, a little bit of light blue and a little bit of um, off-white Titan Buff paint, just a really thin layer on with my two-inch brayer. And then I picked that up onto some just regular old uh, printer paper, thin paper, because I like to collage with a thin paper. And that's what you saw. This one, I put the ink onto a large stamp, which looks like um, buffalo plaid, kind of. And I thought that that type of a pattern really invokes the chill, you know, the, the chill in the air. And maybe you're wearing a t-shirt, but then you put a flannel over the top to go out. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking when I picked that pattern. So I put three colors of inks on there, pressed it down onto the plate, and then I went ahead with the leaf stamps again, stamped over the top. This time I used some Naples yellow along with my Titan Buff acrylic paint, just a really thin layer. Don't overdo it on the paint. And then I picked that one up. So you can see a little bit of that plaid along with um, the few colors of leaves I put on there. So then the next one I thought, um, I needed more intense color because I want some like sky colors and then some mountain colors and then some ground colors. So I took the little ink pads and I went directly onto the plate with them, patting them down in lines. I blended them a little bit with my brayer and then I used the stamps to remove the ink. So when I'm stamping on, I'm getting some ink on the stamp like it's an ink pad and then I'm stamping that off um, on my under paper. And then, so I have the reverse, rather than stamped leaves on the plate, I've got clear leaves on the plate with color around. And I used some Titan Buff off-white acrylic paint to pick that one up. So it's a different look. It's the reverse, the opposite, but looks pretty cool. You can see the difference there when you compare the two. So I decided to get out some larger ink pads. Um, I do have some larger ones in archival ink as well. And I got out a couple colors. I wanted another piece of like a, a blue, sky blue. So I picked out that um, garden patina. And then I think that one's called olive. And I did the same thing where I stamped into it and removed the ink onto my uh, under paper. And then I think I might have stamped with a few, I might have stamped a few, no, I went overhead, I guess I went and, and um, picked this one up again. So this time I used that really light blue and the uh, Titan Buff, again, acrylic paint, thin, thin layer. 
Um, that thing is called a baron. If you don't know what that is, that's for pr um, pressing down real hard to make sure you get every little bit of everything off the plate. Uh, that one's called the Red Baron. It's made by Speedball. So you can find those things on my Amazon uh, store down below. You can click on the Amazon link. And um, I have a gel printing tab that um, has the two-inch brayer and the gel plates and the Baron. You can find those there if you are wondering. Um, I haven't had time to put links below the video for all the products I use because... Man, a video every day in October, a page in a video every day, that's, that's about all I can manage and it takes a lot of time to make all those links for you. So if you just click on the one Amazon link, it takes you to a Amazon store that has all different types of things in it. So that one I did, um, I did put the inks on and then I picked up some of the ink with the big uh, background stamp that looks like plaid. It's hard to see though, but uh, it's there. There is like some some reverse. And then I stamped with some stays on ink in spice chai over the top. Uh, you can use stays on ink too if that's what you have. It's just a good idea to use a permanent ink, although you can do this with other inks too. But the, I like the permanent inks better because then I can do more mixed media with it. I don't think that even the water-based ones would run, though, after you put acrylic, you know, to pick them up from the plate. I think that would seal them, and you could probably use Distress or whatever you've got. I just happen to have these archivals because I like to use them in mixed media since they're permanent when dry. So this one, I went and put some ink on directly again um, with the ink pads, and then I used a um, piece of sequin waste, Punchinella, to make some pattern and then I stamped some uh, leaves on there, pulled it up. Uh, I went and grabbed some Dina Wakely paints. One of them is called Sedona and the other one's called Cheddar. And for uh, fall, those are great colors. Those are fantastic colors for fall. So that's why I went and grabbed them. And this one, um, if you put the ink only on half of the, the plate and then you use it as an ink pad and you're picking up from that brown section up to the top, then you're getting a light and a dark, um, the dark having the reverse and the light having the stamped images. So that's another way to do it. So I'm just about done making papers, I think. I also put some red on there straight onto it with the inks. So there's all my papers that I made to make my background inspired by the mood board. So I'm starting some collage. I'm going to collage the entire background. I'm tearing the paper, um, starting with the turquoisey uh, light ones at the top for the sky. And then I'm going to make uh, mountains and I'm going to make a ground. So I'm collaging the entire thing. I'm using some deco art matte medium in a tube because I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad. That's not my preferred matte medium. I like the Liquitex matte gel medium um, as my preference, but I have this, I wanna use it up. So I'm putting it down onto the page and in some cases on the back of the paper to make sure I get a really good seal. Putting the paper down and then going over the top and pressing it down with my brush. This is a Distress Collage brush. So it's nice and stiff and it, I can press down. Then I also have an old key card or something, and I, I push that down in the center of the page so that I can make sure that the paper gets down into the crease. And I also use that to scrape any bubbles or excess out by scraping it from the center outways. And then eventually I start wiping it off onto my under paper, which I don't think I've started doing that yet because I was getting a lot of matte medium on there. I was really going for it because I wanted, I was in a hurry. I didn't think I'd be able to finish this page in the um, allotted time of the live stream today. And so I was really hurrying doing this collage. So then I've got some of the, the that's the one that had the brown at the bottom and then um, stamped into it and put at the top with the leaves, the very last one I did. And then I picked it up with Naples yellow. And then this is another one that has Naples yellow, I think, or maybe not. That might actually be Titan buff. I'm not sure. But anyway, 
That one has a lot of that plaid on it. Tearing them into little jagged peaks to make it look like there's mountains and sticking them down, um, going with darker to lighter and then back to, back to dark again so that you can see the different layers as I'm putting them on. Like you would have looking out into a mountain range, there's different layers of color, different darks and lights that helps you see that there are multiple layers. If it was all one color, it would just like one big, one big flat thing, right? So then I used one of the really reddish ones where I had used the Sedona colored paint to pick it up um, at the bottom here. That's kind of my foreground. I'm not thinking a whole lot about it though, people. It's not like I'm measuring and cutting and fussing. I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> just get it on there. <laughs> so, because I know I'm going to collage in the front of it as well. And I wasn't sure, you know, it didn't have to be perfect. It actually turned out really cool and I like it. And I actually have a few of the little pieces left over that I'll use on another project. Perfect um, fall colors for what I gel printed today. I really thought they turned out well. So um, I did get some mountains and some leaves. The leaf pattern is subtle, obviously, because it's stamped onto the, the, um, the gel plate, but it's definitely there. Some of that plaid and a lot of the colors that I wanted from the mood board. Mood boards are fun. You guys should really come join us at Art Joy Sharing and use our mood boards for the month to make a project. It doesn't have to be an art journal page. It can be whatever you happen to make. Um, so then I'm starting in thinking about Giuseppe Gracious. And I had this image that I had cut out before of this guy and he's got, he's sitting in a chair in his suit and he's got some champagne and he, um, on the other hand, he had some popcorn because it was a popcorn ad, I think. But um, I cut off the popcorn. I cut off his head, uh, his face, because I wanted to change that because an, he is an identifiable actor. It was from an ad and he obviously supports popcorn, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it was a movie theater ad. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I used one of the little faces from the collage sheets that we shared at the beginning of this challenge. We put some collage sheets that you could print out in the Art Joy Sharing group and use them. This is one of the faces that was on one of Peg's that she drew. And so I cut the little funny face out. I cut a little hat out and put it on. And then on this side, I have a table that has uh, hairpin legs, really cool table. I wish I owned that table. I like it, mid-century modern, cool end table. And I put, I put that, and then I have all these different pictures of dogs. And I'm putting the different, I'm cutting out and putting the different dogs on as well. Uh, there's a dog who's climbing over the fence like he's trying to get in. There's another dog who's sitting there looking a little bit silly. There's this one that's standing up, um, guarding the place. And then there's another dog I cut out that's kind of coming in from the side like he's running towards you. And I cut all those out. I'm gluing those down. All, the, all this magazine cutout stuff, it's really thin, fragile paper. So I'm using a glue stick, a Yoohoo UHU glue stick to glue it down. You don't want to get this paper wet and even a gel mat medium has a bit of moisture in it. And so it tends to wrinkle the paper. So I don't want to wrinkle the paper. I did end up getting wrinkled paper um, in the center where the fold is because it's just so hard to glue it down into the fold. So now I've got all my dogs except for the last one. I'm trimming him out real fast, putting him over there like he's running towards it. Then I add just a few more elements to make this page make sense. I give Giuseppe Gracious a turkey leg, a big old turkey leg in his hand, and then I cut out some red papers and make a stack, big old stack of raw steaks to hamburger on the, on the table. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now, cutting different pa red papers and gluing those down with the glue stick getting a big stack of nice raw steaks and hamburger balls um, to put that the dogs would like to eat, right? These are all the dogs, right? That's what they would like to eat. 
And so just stacking them up there, making it a big old stack. Generous stack. And then I get out my, oh, I'm right there. I'm just touching up the top because it, um, there was some white up there that needed to be covered with paint. So I used that, my fingers and that light paint, light blue paint to cover that up. It was just a little bit of a boo-boo. So then I make, I finish up my turkey leg with a uh, bone and I'm using uh, Posca pins for that. All my finishing is done with Posca pins and Fabricastel pit artist pins for the shading. And um, yeah, that's all I used for the rest of it. So now it's all the detail work. It's not all on the video. I did finish the shading off camera. I didn't quite get it done. So this is my brother P-Touch label maker and I type out my words and they say, let me look, <laughs> they say, Giuseppe is such a gracious host. He brings all the pups to the yard. So Giuseppe is hosting a party and he's got lots of raw steaks and turkey legs and he's very gracious to provide all these wonderful things that the dogs would like and they all come a running to get all those yummy fresh treats from Giuseppe. So that's Giuseppe Gracious, very gracious guy. Likes to host parties, likes to provide for everyone, including the pets. So all the rest of this video is um, fabric castell work with uh, making some shadows around things like using this teal. And then around everything else, I went with gray. I used uh, off-white Posca pin to put the fat on the steaks because, you know, fat means flavor. So <laughs> you got to have a little bit of fat to render down when you're cooking your steaks. And uh, touching up a little bit of the face, giving a tongue, sticking out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this series. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Um, subscribe, please, if you haven't already. I looked at my little charts and it said only 10% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. I thought that was surprising, really surprising, because that means if 400 people watch the video, only 40 of them are subscribed. Huh. You guys, subscribe. <laughs> so you'll know when there's a new video. I make them all the time. Um, also, uh, come join us at Art Joy of Sharing Art Community. And join us in the challenge. Post everything with the hashtag AJOS Peculiar Persona if you're participating in this. And I think that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.